Hey, happy campers. Todd here at Great American RV Superstores. Today, we're going to go over how to manually retract our slide out if it won't operate when we're hitting that button. A couple things that we can check before we actually go through that manual mode. This is on an above floor mount electric slide. So let's get started. So if we've identified our slide as this same type, then walking through these steps should help take care of the issue as far as how to get that slide out in. If you're a little bit mechanically inclined, then you can follow the steps further in this video. To start off with, there's a few things that we can check before we get into the complex part of things. We want to check our battery voltage to start off with. So if you're plugged into shore power or generator running, we want to make sure that our converter system is charging. Put a meter on those batteries or if we have a voltage meter that we can check anywhere on the unit and confirm that that charging system is working and that our batteries are good, then we can assume we have voltage to the motor. Uh, another thing we want to check is our fuse panel and make sure that our fuses are not blown. So if we've done all these things and still no operation on this particular type slide out, then we can move on to the next steps. So if you see up under this unit, we can see that our slide out has these rails right here with a gear track on them. And there's going to be one particular rail that leads into a compartment and you will see an access cover. There may be one or two motors. In this case, it's only one motor. This is your 12 volt wiring that you would check for your power coming in and to the motor to ensure that we are getting power whenever that switch is being engaged. So you can see here now we have access to our motor and on it you'll see a sticker right here. It says release on this side, engaged on the top side, and this is for our motor brake. We have a lever inside of here with a little tab, a safety tab that keeps that lever from being knocked accidentally. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this boot just for demonstration purposes. I don't suggest you remove the boot. This is just to be able to give you a better idea of what you're looking at. So we see here we have access and this is our lever. This is our safety latch right here. This safety latch would be pulled towards the motor and then at that point you pull that lever down and that releases the brake on the motor. From there we go ahead and push our slide in. So next we can see the task of actually pushing the slide in is going to be a problem on this size unit. This would need two or three people and literally put everything you have into pushing this slide out in until it fully retracts and then go lock that brake back in like I'm about to show you. Once our slide has been pushed in, we want to make sure that we re-engage that brake. Simply push that lever back up and that re-engages the brake to make sure that the slide has no movement while you're traveling down the road. Hopefully this video has helped you in bringing your slide out in manually. Hope you have some better knowledge. We know these things are inconveniences, but that's why we try to put these videos out to help you. So don't miss the next one. Click like subscribe, follow, all those wonderful things on Facebook and YouTube so you don't miss the next helpful hack. Thanks for watching our videos here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.